Okay, hey. Buju. And welcome back to Buju Not a Buju. The podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> oh, nobody special. They call me Nana Buju. Nana Buju. Nanabuju Nindijinakaz. Nanabuju is my name. And I like to tell stories. I'm a storyteller. Rezuke Winini. I tell stories. Now let me tell you a story. Back in the days of the grandfathers, not that long ago actually, there was a great man. There was a man who, who thought of other people before himself. He was good looking and generous. <laughs> and his name was Pete McDonnell. Pete McDonnell. I went to McDonald's and I ordered the Pete McDonnell because I wanted a handsome, generous man. <laughs> nah. Okay, hey, miigwech. Thank you. Pete McDonnell is our latest GoFundMe contributor, our latest friend of the show, our newest member of the uh, Buju crew. Pete, we, I wanted to tell you just from the bottom of my heart how much I appreciate. I don't know where you came from, but you're, you're a blessing. Your, your answered prayer, your gift from God. No. <laughs> miigwech. Miigwech, Pete. We really appreciate it. And um, this has been the story of Pete McDonnell. You know, you have to assume that Pete is, uh, I don't know if he's good looking. I'm assuming he's good looking. I'm getting kind of a, uh, who is that guy, the main character on the, in the Partridge family? Uh, David Cassidy? Yeah, David Cassidy. I think Pete McDonnell kind of looks like David Cassidy in the 70s. You know, just sort of a heartthrob. And I also assume that he is uh you know successful this guy had had a little bit of junia a little bit of money that he didn't you know he had already paid the bills he had already you know taking the wife out to dinner you know taking care of the people he knows and and something occurred to me he was like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna spread the wealth here what's that goofy old nano bougie up to oh he needs some money he needs to, to pay for the, the electricity in his holodeck. Well, I'm going to help out that guy. So, today's show is called Miigwech. Pete McDonnell. Mr. Donnell, we really appreciate it. All right, on with the show. Computer. Boop, 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 boop. Please end autumn snow simulation thingy. Boop, boop, boop. Beep, beep. Oh, wow. Miigwech. Boop, boop. Ladies and gentlemen, the online holodeck computer. Boop, boop. <laughs> I like to come down here in the mornings and, uh, you know, just kind of sit in a program simulation. Sometimes I'll come down here, have a cup of coffee, and I don't know, just sort of chill out first thing in the morning. But now I want to go upstairs and see what Natasha's up to. Bonjour. Hey, sweetie. Well, hi, Nana Bougie. What are you up to? I'm down here in the holodeck. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you pick me up? Yeah, sure. Let me just, let me scan for your coordinates. All right. 
and uh, lock it in on your coordinates. <laughs> okay. And that's one to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> no. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. How was the, how was the hol holiday? Oh, you know, not bad. I just, I wanted, I wanted to start the show and, and thank Pete McDonnell. Yeah, wasn't that awesome? You gave it, you're so generous. Yep. Big watch, Pete. Yep. So what else is going on today? Oh, I don't know. I figured we'd, we could teach an Ojibwe word of the day or two. Yeah, you know what I was thinking? What's that? Let's teach the difference between um, Anishinaabe and Gitchimukaman. Chimooks and uh, Shinabs? <laughs> yeah, we should have called this show Shinabs and Chimooks. What's up with that? <laughs> um, do you want to do it or should I? Um, tell you what, why don't, why don't we start the show? With a song by Michael. That's a great idea. Hey, Rockstar, how you doing? I'm doing great. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Michael Lyons, the Rockstar cartoonist. Hey, everybody. Okay, let's start this show with um, Wake and Bake. And then uh, you can take over. All right. <laughs> All right. This is Wake and Bake. <laughs> But it's got nothing to do with you I've got no one still you won't do And after today, I'd say we are hard, quite through. But I know you won't break down, you won't miss a step, you won't be around, and you'll never forget it. One day, when I'm old and gray, I might look back and say that these were the golden days. And one day, when I'm old and I'm gray, I might look back and say this was the price I paid Now so it goes or so they say Times like a mountain scape Well I don't know but I can't complain God knows I've got my own escape And sometimes just might even in the middle of the night well sometimes and some days sometimes will I wake and bake but it's got nothing to do with you I've got no one still you won't do And after today I'd say we are hard quite through But I know you won't break down You won't miss a step You won't be around And you'll never regret it One day when I'm old and gray I might look back and say that these were the golden days of one day When I'm old and I'm gray I might look back and say This was the price I paid Even in the middle of the day Stephen grins a little so they say Sometimes, sometimes, 
well I wake and bake gentlemen michael lyons the rock star cartoonist and uh wake and bake that's a cool song buddy hey thanks all right so what's going on around here you gotta teach a chip boy word of the day oh yeah chip boy word of the day <laughs> i said our show should be called uh shinobs and chamooks <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's 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 the lingo we usually use, but instead, there's a chip boy word of the day. If I can find it, where where did I put it, sweetie? I think you put it right above. Um, oh here it is. Yeah, there you go. Anishinaabe, Anishinaabe. You know, lots of times we talk about oh Anishinaabe values, but we never. Well, what what do you mean by Anishinaabe? Indian. Yeah, kind of. But actually, Anishinaabe in Ojibwe doesn't mean Indian. It means a human being. You can be a Dakota Anishinaabe. You can be a Norwegian Anishinaabe. You can be, you know, you're just a human being. Because here, here's the story, kid. Gichi Mukaman. You might have heard, if you're an Indian kid up in northern Minnesota... Lots of times people think they're calling white people Chimooks or Chimookaman. What that is, that's a shorting, shortened version of Gichi, which means great, and Mookaman, which means knife. Because the way I heard it was that back in the days of the grandfathers, when the first, uh, you know, white people came here, they had long knives or something. And we didn't call them the white people. We called them the great knives because they had these really great knives. They're like, oh, wow, look at those guys. They got the Gitchi Mukaman. They got the great knife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And this has been our Ojibwe words of the day. Anishinaabe, a human being. And the Gitchi Mukaman, the great knife. We're going to learn more about these very sacred Terms and ideas. <laughs> I don't know. Go to your local library or something. I'd go to our local library, but there's always so many homeless people just lurking about. And you don't know who you're going to meet in a bathroom. Might be some guy giving himself a sponge bath. <laughs> to learn more about it. <laughs> no. Hey, sweetie. Yeah. You want to take a call? Oh, sure. I'll take a call. Line two? Yep. Line two. Hello, caller. Welcome to Buju Nana Buju. You're on the air. Mmm. Buju Nana Buju. It is I, the Benjamin Button Baby. Oh, hey, Benjamin Button Baby. Sweetie, it's that, it's that old, old elder guy who, who ages backwards. Oh, hi. Benjamin Button, baby, how are you? Hmm. Bonjour, Natasha. I am doing very well. Very well indeed. Even though I appear to be as a baby. For you see, I have what is known as Benjamin Button disease. And although I appear as only an infant, I am indeed very old. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be a crazy thing. What can I do for you today? Did you want to learn the Ojibwe word of the day? Mm, Gawin. For you see, I already speak fluent Ojibwe Moen, Nanabushu. Oh, that's right, of course. Because he's, uh, yeah, he's actually a real Indian from the old days. 
It is true. I have lived many moons. For you see, although I appear as though I am a baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know. <laughs> he got Benjamin Button disease. Hmm. Have I told you that already, Nana Buju? Yeah. Mm. Many apologies. For you see, I have a brain disorder. Although I appear as though I am a baby, I am very old and have what is called old timer's disease. You mean Alzheimer's? Hmm. Indeed it is so. Alzheimer's. I always forget what that is called. <laughs> yeah. You know, when I was a kid, they said I had a disorder too. They, they said I had attention deficit disorder. But you know what? Hmm. I didn't pay any attention. <laughs> I couldn't. Uh, they never told me that. I'm too old. I have that disease too where I look younger than I am. All right then. Well, hey, Niji, uh, I got to get going. Anything else I can do for you? No, but I would like to teach an Ojibwe phrase for your viewers. Oh yeah, go ahead. For you see, in the Ojibwe language, we do not say goodbye. For I know I will always see you again, Nanabuju, and you as well, Natasha. <laughs> yeah, huh? <laughs> so we do not say goodbye. We say, I will see you again. Gigawabamin. Minawa. That's right, buddy. Well, let me tell you. Thank you for calling. Miigwech. Gigawabamin. Minawa. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> that guy's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, I love the Benjamin Button, baby. Yeah. Well, there you go, folks. Kikawaba Min, Minawa. And this has been your Jibway Phrase of the Day. If you'd like to support our show, I'm going to call it, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> if you'd like to support our show, click the links in the description box. We've got a GoFundMe page going. Again, uh, Natasha and Michael Lyons, and I would like to like to say miigwech. Um, whoops, not that. <laughs> oh, come on, sweetie, where is it? Here we go. Miigwech, Pete McDonnell. McDonnell. Today's episode was brought to you by the generous contribution to our GoFundMe page from the very handsome and very wealthy. Ah, uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> Miigwech, Pete. We really appreciate it. I will see you again. Gigawabamin. Minawa. Hawa. All right. <laughs>